a whole bunch of magical things happen around our planet. And trust me, when I say magical, it's not Harry Potter the responsible, thinking that he might protect the Earth from Lord Voldemort. Well, if it wasn't Harry Potter, what protects the Earth? And how? Are you curious? If you are, you are totally in the right place. Well, if you thought about Earth's magnetic field, you are right. Earth's magnetic field is a donut-shaped shield that protects the life on Earth and blocks away any ionic rays that could damage our atmosphere and therefore us as we live on Earth. But the question now is, what causes Earth's magnetic field? The answer lies deep in the Earth. But before we move on to this, let's make some things clear about magnetism. We have known for a long time that electricity and magnetism are just two sides of the same coin. They can be transformed one to another. And in fact, a magnetic field is what an electric field becomes when an electrically charged object starts moving. Back to Earth. Earth is a giant magnet and it behaves just like it. Well, haven't you ever wondered how birds can fly all these long distances without ever getting lost? While humans can easily lose their way if they don't have a compass or GPS. And that's because birds have an inner compass. They can sense Earth's magnetic field. And by sensing the direction of this field, birds can tell north and south. Okay, you still have some doubts. Well, this experience is to prove that the Earth's magnetic field is present. What I have here is a bar of magnet suspended to a very thin wire. And what is happening here, that this bar of magnet is aligning towards the magnetic south of the Earth, which is in geography, the north. And that really explains why always a compass needle points north. Still with me, aren't you? Well, let's dive into the Earth. The Earth contains the crust, mantle, outer core, and the inner core. But let's focus only on the outer and the inner core, because they are made of iron, and iron is a good conductor. Deep inside the Earth is a hot molten mass of liquid iron that generates electric currents. So what happens here is that iron atoms form metallic bonds where electrons are shared between atoms and move freely in electricity. The inner solid core hits the lower part of the liquid outer core and this causes convection currents. A hot, less dense molten mass moves upwards while a cooler, more dense mass sinks to the bottom of the outer core. These moving iron electrons generate electric currents which therefore generate Earth magnetic actually, because we are constantly being bombarded by charged particles from the sun, and this shield is what protects us from the solar wind.